Migrating your business website to a new web host for free can cause a lot of worry. You don't want to lose any of your data or break the site by mistake. This stress increases even more if you want to migrate a WooCommerce site or a multi-site network. There's a lot of misinformation floating online about this. This video is going to help you solve this by showing you how to migrate your website to a new web host quickly and reliably. Welcome to the channel. My name is Julian and I work at BlogWall, which helps over a million sites with bulletproof backups. Watch this video till the end to learn about flawless migrations. If you're in a hurry, use the chapters below to navigate to the topics for your convenience. Number one, migrating business websites. Now, there are different methods to migrate WordPress websites and you can choose one depending on how much involvement or time you want to spend on the process. You can migrate with a plugin, migrate via new hosting or migrate manually. We'll briefly cover all three here. But before that, there are two very important things. Number one, migration should be carried out when your website is receiving the least amount of traffic. You can use Google Analytics to figure that out. Just open Google Analytics and from the dashboard, you can look at when your users visit metric. It tells you the number of users that visited your site during which time of the day. Number two, whichever method you use, having a migration checklist is really necessary. I've added a comprehensive migration checklist in the description below. Do go and see that before you migrate your site. Okay, let's now talk about the three main ways to migrate a business website. A. Migrating with a plugin. There are many different WordPress migration plugins to choose from. Migration being a complicated process, not all plugins perform it seamlessly. So choosing a reliable plugin with a record of successful migrations is the key. Some of the challenges that you can face with an unreliable migration plugin are that it may not support migration to the new web host of your choice. It causes downtime during the migration process and it can even cause migration failure. Our migration plugin blog world is not plagued with any of those challenges. It supports over 5,000 hosting providers. It ensures that there is no downtime when you're migrating. It migrates your complete website without any broken links or missing content. And best of all, it takes just one click to migrate your site. I'll quickly show you how to do this. Step number one, install and activate the blog world plugin on your website. Step number two, on the next page, you'll be prompted to sign in by inserting your email address. Just enter your email address, select migrate from the drop down menu and then click on get started. BlogWall will start taking a backup of your website. Step number three, once the backup is ready, open BlogWall's dashboard and from the backup section, select Migrate. Step number four, enter the FTP credentials of your current hosting. If you don't know how to find that, just watch the video linked above. If you get stuck here for any reason, just reach out to your hosting provider and ask them. After entering your FTP credentials, scroll down and click on Continue. Step number five, next, you need to select the folder where your WordPress website is located. The default location is the public HTML folder. Select the public HTML folder and click on Continue. If it gives you an error, this means that the website is located in a different folder. Sometimes the website is moved to a different location for security reasons. To find the real location, consult with your website owner or take the help of your hosting provider. When you find the correct folder, select it and then click on continue. Step number six. On the next page, you need to insert the URL of the website in the destination URL. If you are changing the domain name, then you need to insert the new URL. If not, then you need to insert the same URL, that is the URL of the website that you are moving from one server to the next. Step number seven. If you scroll down on the same page and toggle the advanced option, you will see an option to change your name server and IP. Once done, scroll down and click on continue. BlogWall will start migrating your WordPress website. The time it takes to migrate the website will depend on the size of the website, but you should not have to wait for more than a few minutes for the entire process to complete without any failures. B. Migrating with new hosting. Hosting providers offer migration services. Migrating with your hosting provider can take something between one business day to a whole week. So if you need a quick migration, just use the steps in the previous section and use BlogWall to migrate your website. However, if you're adamant on using a hosting provider, you can reach out to them via email and they will give you one of the following options. Now one, they'll migrate the site for you free of cost like Bluehost or Flywheel. Number two, others like HostGator will give you a free tool that you can use to migrate on your own. Number three, if you want the web host provider to do it for you, you'll need to pay extra charges for a concierge service. In almost all cases, you'll be asked to point the name server and IP to the new server where you just moved. You typically make these changes at the registrar where you bought your domain name. If you bought the domain name from the previous hosting provider, then you need to change your name servers and the IP from that account. 
But if you bought it from an independent vendor like Dave Silo, then that's where you need to go. Your hosting provider will walk you through the entire process, so do not worry. All right, hold on a second. Before we go to the next topic, if this video is being helpful for you, please hit that like button and smash that subscribe button because it's free and super motivating for us. And I'll make more and more such videos for you. You can also comment below for any video topic that you want, and I will make it happen. All right, let's get back to the video. C. Migrating manually. Manual migration deals with WordPress files and databases, which is very complex and risky unless you are a WordPress pro. The smallest of mistakes can end up breaking your life site or causing a failed migration. If the reason you wanted to try a manual migration is that you wanted to migrate quickly and for free, then we would rather recommend Migrate Guru. It's a completely free migration tool that's 100% reliable. If there's anyone in the audience who wants to learn about manual migrations, then please comment below and I'll make your video for it and link it above. Chapter number two, how to migrate WooCommerce sites. We will not recommend migrating your WooCommerce sites manually. WooCommerce websites store a ton of information and there are just too many functions on the site. Dealing with that much data manually is not recommended. You can use BlogWall to easily migrate your WooCommerce site to a new web host. Even the steps are the same as those that we mentioned in the previous chapter for migrating with a plugin. Chapter number three, how to migrate multi-site networks. Multi-site setups are excellent for those who run separate websites but want to manage all of them in one dashboard. The sheer volume of content on a multi-site makes migration a daunting task. However, if you're equipped with the right tools and armed with the right instructions, you can move even the mammoth site multi-site to a new location without a single hiccup. Once again, you can use BlogWalt or Migrate Guru to do this migration. I'll add a step-by-step -step guide below on how to do this. Chapter number four, post migration measures. After your site has been successfully migrated, there is one very important step that you need to take. You need to check your website thoroughly to see if everything is working properly. Here's how you do that. First off, clear your cache using a cache plugin. If you don't have a cache plugin installed, you can clear your browser cache. Then, if your site has a few dozen pages, you can open all of them and see if anything's missing or wrong with them. For example, check if your images, ads, and forms are working properly. If your site is too big, we suggest inspecting the most important pages like the home page, product pages, important landing pages, the about and contact pages. If you find any issues like missing content or broken images, we suggest reaching out to your hosting provider to figure out what happened and how you can fix your site. And that's it. Hit that subscribe button if this video has been helpful for you. Comment below if you need help with anything at all or you want me to make a video about a particular topic. Take care, stay hydrated, I'll see you again next week.